Hello and welcome to this Pervade tutorial on how to collect and audit data that we're going to use to prove compliance with controls from PCI DSS. As you might know, I'm in my edit policy screen. To do that, you come into the policies menu, find the policy that you would like to change a control of, and then click edit. If I click into PCI requirement one, uh, this is, will show me all the objectives and controls to do with installing and maintaining a firewall. And the specific control that we're going to look at today is PCI requirement 1.2.2, secure router configuration files. This question is actually split into two, this control rather is actually split into two different questions. One that requires a logical answer to see whether all router configuration files are kept securely. And one technical control. This says, uh, are all router configuration files synchronized? For example, the running configuration files used for normal running of routers and the startup configuration files used when a machine, when machines are rebooted have the same secure configurations. So in order for us to uh, manage this question, which currently, if we come in, is set to be a logical question. So this is a logical question and it requires a yes or no answer from somebody who can provide an attestation to your company's compliance. But rather than having one person provide an attestation saying, yes, all of our routers and all of our firewalls definitely have synchronized uh, startup and running config files, we can change this to be a technical question that's audited at regular intervals and will allow us to automatically check whether or not all of the devices are in or out of compliance with PCI DSS. So let's come out of the question for now because we have to start the journey a little bit earlier. The first thing to know is how can we identify whether there are differences between the startup configuration file and the running configuration file on, let's say, for example, Cisco devices? Well, I went to Google and I typed in Cisco config diff. This brings up a whole host of results, the favorite, my favorite of which is the second one. So I'm going to come in and take a look at that. And it basically says to me, I can use these commands to find out the differences between the startup configuration file and the running configuration file. And when I use those commands, it will return results like this. So if I actually look at the format of the results shown from this command, if lines of configuration have been added, the line will start with a plus. And if lines of configuration have been removed, there will be a minus. If a line has been changed in Cisco terminology, that line actually gets a removal and an addition. So it would have a minus and a plus. So for our system, it's very easy. We run the command here, and I'm gonna make a copy of this. And then when we see the output from the command, we just need to make sure that there are no pluses and no minuses in it. So if we go back to our system and come in and edit the question, to make it a technical question. However, we haven't got a query set up yet in order to base this on. So if we come into the queries menu of our system tab and say create query, I'm going to create a query called Cisco config diff. I'm going to make this an SSH query. Obviously, the Pervade system is capable of a myriad of different query types that handle most of the technical questions within PCI, if not all. And based on an SSH query, I'm going to say run this command, which is the command that I just got from the Cisco web page. Click Create Query. Now, if I go back into my question and I edit the question and I say, OK, instead of being a logical question that requires a yes or no answer, I want to make this a technical question. And when I make it a technical question, you may see that the system's AJAX features change all of the menu options that are available to you. So now instead of saying, is it a yes or no question, does it require evidence? It's asking me, what query would you like to automatically audit? The query that I'd like to automatically audit in this case is SSH Cisco config diff. My Cisco config diff query, I need to check that it does not contain a plus or a minus. And as long as I have any lines that do not contain a plus or a minus, I don't really care what they are. So from the moment that I press update, that's it. That system will now automatically audit all of the Cisco routers and firewalls that are on my network 
to make sure that they are in compliance with that control of PCI DSS. If we did want to limit the scope, we can definitely do that. We can come into our organizations menu, pick the organization that we'd like to edit the settings for, and then select PCI DSS as a policy. We can then come in and find the exact same question, but now we're in the organization view and say, okay, for PCI DSS 1.2.2, I want to make sure that the devices in scope only contains my Cisco devices. which just happens to have had all three selected automatically. So now I can click update settings and the only devices that are in scope and the only devices that will be audited for that question are the devices that we've just defined. If you have any further questions at all or would like to see a more in-depth demonstration of this video, we'd be more than happy to provide it to you via GoToMeeting or live and in person. If you please contact our sales team or our support team, we'd be happy to help. Thanks.